fuck is this, man? Get that shit off of me, son. Might, uh, yeah, you can pick it up. <laughs> Mighty True Jackson here, Fury FC One. I'm here with tonight's winner, Mr. Rakim Cleveland, and not not the the MC Rakim either. Um, you look slim since a lot. I mean, damn, how many? You lost about 100 pounds. Uh, yeah, I lost I lost a little over 100 pounds total. Um, since my last fight with Derek in 2011, I dropped down all the way to middleweight. I came back up to the light heavyweight to fight this dude, man. You know, uh, I appreciate him stepping up. Nobody wants to fight me at middleweight. It's gonna be hard. So hopefully, I find somebody brave enough so I can get the call up, man. Um, six in a row for me, and I'm doing good. Uh, I came down from Des Moines to represent my team up there. It's my first time fighting back home, and it, it was an honor to fight for fight back home. It was my first time in two years since since I fought here. Yeah, man, the last time we saw you, uh, you were fighting on national TV, and you had an ass all in your face. <laughs> man, well, give us because I haven't got to see you since then. Give us your thoughts on the ass in your face, the stink face. You know, it, 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 it was in my face. At least it wasn't on my face. You know, it, shit, it was, it, was, it, was, it was. Did you see the picture? It was close enough. Did you see the picture? <laughs> I saw the picture, and that motherfucking crack was like right there all in your face. <laughs> no, man. Uh, like I said, it's, it's just an honor to be back fighting here. Hopefully, I get to call a fight for another show. You know, maybe Legacy next time. We'll see. Uh, I'm just gonna keep pushing and pushing towards the top. Middleweight's where I, where I want to be, and uh, I think it'll be a successful weight class for me. And uh, I'm looking to dominate whoever steps in front of me. I put a lot, of her, a lot of hard work in, and and it's, and it's paying off. You're taking on Armando Herrera. Um, it seemed like as soon as the bell rang, he went in for the takedown. Uh, did you know that that was gonna be his game plan? Uh, I didn't know that was his game plan. Um, watching his videos, you know, what I could find of him, it, he was a stand-up guy. He wasn't really talented on the ground, so I was expecting to stand up with him, you know. But then again, not a lot of people want to stand up with me, no matter if it's heavyweight, lightweight, middleweight, whatever. Nobody wants to stand with me. But um, I, I wish luck to anybody who tries to take me down. Uh, I, I train with some of the best guys from, from Iowa State up there, and... Um, Wrestling is what they do, and my takedown defense is second and none. And I work hard on it. And I pride myself on my takedown defense, and uh, my wrestling's getting better too. So I got a, got a chance to showcase my little hip toss out there, and and he wasn't expecting me to try to take him down, and and uh, I caught him surprised, and, and I finished on the ground. Yeah, man, that was a that was a beautiful hip toss that you landed. Once it hit the ground, did you feel like he almost gave up because it seemed like he just turned up and, and turned away from you? Yeah, um, when he hit the ground, it seemed like, you know, panic mode set in, and he, he just kind of curled up. You know, he, he, seen me, he seen me rushing in behind him, and he, he kind of gave me his back, and he really didn't want none. Uh, I guess he was expecting to end up on top on the ground, and, and that's not going to be the case for a lot of guys. So, you know, like I said, kudos to him for taking the fight, and I appreciate uh, Fury for giving me a chance to fight for him. I hope to be back here in March. Um, we're working on that, and hopefully I'll get a strap for him. Rakim, congratulations on your win tonight. Thanks, sir.